Hi everyone, here we have 11th question of exercise 2.2 uh, from the book written by DG Zill and uh, it's an ordinary differential equation of, uh, of the first order and uh, it is a separable differential equation. You can separate the terms of x and y and starting it by moving this term on the right side sorry secant square x dy and now you can multiply this secant square x with the denominator of this term you will have secant square x and I am also moving this negative sign on this side because I want all the constants with uh, with the term with the terms involving x so and uh, you will have secant y on this side d and y from here you can uh, apply a rule of trigonometric function and according to that you can write minus this term as minus cos square x dx while you can write this side as sine y dy and now you can take integrals on both sides I am taking this minus out of it you will have cos square x dx on this side and you will have integral of sine y dy on this side okay and from here uh, what you can do you can take the integral of uh, cos square x and you can take this integral by uh, by adopting by following some rules of trigonometry I think a half angle formula is involved in that and uh, or you can do it that by some other technique so um, but after that you will have 1 by 2x plus 1 by 4 sine 2x plus c okay that was uh, sorry minus so that is why you must write minus here you must write uh, okay one minus here and uh, not this plus and you will have a minus okay there's no need of need to write minus with this and uh, similarly okay for sign you will have minus cos y okay not the d value and this is the solution for 11th question and here we have question 12 within this question you can write 3 sin 3x dx and you can move this minus 2y uh, cos base to power 3 with 3x dy on this side and uh, let's say I want uh, the terms of x on the left side so what I have to do I have to divide this term uh, with this term I mean uh, by using cross multiplication I have to multiply this term with the denominator of this term so sine 3x divided by cos raised to power 3 with 3x dx equals to uh, minus 2y dy now I know that uh, sine three x and cos three x. Cos three x means you you can write cos three cos uh, raised to power three x. I mean cube of cos three x is actually cos three x multiplied by cos three x multiplied by cos three x. So uh, you can write it like. And you must know that when you write sine 3x divided by, okay, you can write cos 3x as cos 3x cubed, cos 3x multiplied by cos 3, wait, cos 3x and multiplied by cos 3x. And this term, you can write this term as sine, okay, you can write, you can take this side, sine 3x with this. And you will you can write 10x and you uh, okay and 1 by 
cos square q uh, 3x and you know this thing this thing is secant squared x so you can write 10x and secant squared x so this was uh, some reasoning here and using that I can rewrite this thing as 10x and secant squared x dx equals to minus 2y dy now I'm moving this in minus and this 2 on this side why because I I want all the constants with x so you can write minus 1 by 2 multiplied by with this 10x secant squared x d x uh, sorry there must be a 3 here sorry mistake there must be a 3 there must be a 3 so now we are almost close to our solution y dy and here uh, you just need to take an integral so from here if you take integral on both sides you can take this constant as outside of this 10x and secant squared x dx equals to integral of y dy and from here you will get secant square okay here was a cube uh, square, uh, sorry 3 second 3 second square uh, second 3 x square so uh, by solving it you will get a second square x out of it and how uh, okay I am not going to explain this thing here because uh, uh, that will be time consuming so from here and hold on here you will have y square dy so you can see uh, this is your solution you can rewrite it without the bracket